Okay, you guys, so we're gonna be looking at question 12 in this video, and this is the last question of this paper. Okay, so it says the diagram below is an aerial view of four wind turbines placed at A, D, E, and B. Line AB has an equation, 5x plus 2y equals 60. So I've written that out there and have re um, sort of shuffled it so that it looks like our traditional y equals mx plus c, right? It's a little bit more accessible. Then A lies on the y-axis, so it is the y-intercept. B lies on the x-axis, it is the x-intercept, right, of that line AB. Then it says E is the midpoint of DB. So what that means is that length is equal to that length because midpoint means to cut in half, okay? Then it says C lies on AB and represents the control station, okay? And then it says the area of triangle ADC, so this one here, to ECD is eight to nine. Okay, so we're probably gonna have to use that ratio and we're gonna have to use the, all this information to answer what we need to answer, right? But let's just first see what they want. Okay, so it says calculate the distance of AB. Now, AB is that line there, okay? We know that AB, both of those points, lie on this y equals mx plus c line. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to work out the intercepts and then what we're going to do is we're going to find that length. Okay, so how did I find the intercepts? Well, what I did is I said, okay, the intercept, the y-intercept is easy. You can just read it off or you can sub in x equal to zero. You get the point of a, zero and five. You similarly do it for x, but when you're finding the x-intercept, you make y equal to zero. Okay, you solve x equals 12. Okay, important to make sure that you do algebra um, correctly. And B equals 12 and 0. Okay, so now we have these two points. Now, you could use the distance formula if you wanted to, right? And put it in there and get the distance. But I would rather just use Pythag, right? So what I'm going to do, I mean, Pythag is a form of the distance formula. So it's not drastically different, right? But I'm just going to have a slightly different approach in the sense that I'm not going to just look at that diagonal. I'm going to say it's actually the hypotenuse, right? of this right angle triangle down here at the bottom. Therefore, I can say AB squared equals five squared plus 12 squared, and then figure it out and AB equals 13 units. Okay, so it's important to think of different approaches. You can use different approaches, right? I'm not saying that this is the only way to do it, right? But this is just a way that is quite simple. Okay, let's go on to the very last question of this question. So I've done a bit of writing here because it's the second time that I've recorded this video, but it says find the coordinates of C, okay? Now, thankfully, they have given us the drawing down here, right? So C is over there, okay? C is that point there. They want the coordinates of C. What does that mean? They want the X and Y of C. That's what they're asking for, okay? So what I did is I said, <laughs> Let's actually just start with the ratio, right? Because what we want to do, what I'm thinking we should do, is let's use this right angle triangle we have here, right? We know that that's five units, that's 12 units, that's 13 units. So what we could do is we could draw in a line that is parallel to the y-axis, right? And then we can use a proportionality theory, um, theorem, right? Which tells us that we, that if I say like AC, over AB, that equals to OY over OB, right? And why would I want that? Well, we know that the X coordinate, right, of Y, right, is going to be the X coordinate of C because it's perpendicular underneath it, right? Like that. Then if we find the X coordinate of C, we can just sub it back into that straight line that we had, right, for AB, because we know that C lies on AB, and we can get the y coordinate. So that's what I'm thinking, right? It's the easiest way to do it. But we have to first then get this length AC in order to do that proportionality theorem, okay? So let's try to figure out what AC is. In order to do that, we have to use the areas we have, okay? So they gave us that the area of ADC was eight, in a ratio was eight to nine when we look at um, this triangle ECD, right? But what you need to notice is that the area of triangle ECD is the same as the area of the triangle BEC. Now, you could be saying, why is that? Well, 
The reason that is, right, is because the base of those two triangles are, are equal, right? We were given that E is the midpoint, therefore those two bases are equal. But also the perpendicular height is equal, right? Because the perpendicular height of that triangle is there. And this triangle, because it's not right angle triangle, its height is outside. So if they share a height and they share a base, therefore they have the same area. So I've written that up here. It says they have the same area. So now if I want to write the ratio, right, of the area of ADC to this BDC, okay, it's 8 to 18. Okay, 8 to 18. So we have just created a new ratio. So now what I want is I want to find AC. I keep telling you I want to find AC. And now you're like, okay, how do you find AC, Marks? So I'm saying, well, AC is 13, right? It's 13 times by a ratio of what AC is as a proportion of this larger triangle, right? So it's going to be 13 times 8 over 26. Now you're saying, where does 26 come from? Well, 8 plus 18 gives us 26 in total. 8 is what is attributable to triangle ADC, and 26 is the whole of this very big triangle here, okay? So then AC is 4 units, okay? So we've got that AC is 4 units. Now, because we have AC, we can go straight into our proportionality, right? So we can say, right, I'm going to call this OY. This OY is just going to be X, okay? That OY is just going to be X. So I'm going to say, okay, we know that X over 12, right? So I'm saying OY over OB, okay? Because we know that OB equals 12 because our X coordinate here is 12 and 0. So the length from O to B is 12 units. So I'm saying OY X over 12 equals 4 over 13, which is the same as AC over AB, okay? So what we have here is this is the proportionality theorem, right? You can also write that as line parallel to side of triangle, right? You can write that either way. Okay, now let's solve for this x. It's going to be 48 over 13. So now we have the x value of our c coordinate. So now all we need to do is sub that x value back into this straight line that we have here y equals negative 5 over 12, 48 over 13 plus 5, okay, make sure you write it correctly, and that will give us our y coordinates of c, because c lies on the line a, b, okay, negative 5 over 12 times by 48 over 13 plus 5 gives us, oh, don't put, don't, don't do that, just keep it in fraction form, Okay, 45 over 13, right? So our final answer here is the coordinates of C are 48 over 13 and 45 over 13. Okay, so that was a very interesting question. I know that it caused havoc with the matrix of 2019, but I hope that it actually makes sense to you and that that is a nice problem-solving question for you to practice for your exam on Monday. Okay, that is me done. Cheers, guys.